day, guys. Right here, your coffee coach. I'm joined with Ange from Grupo Chimbali, which is a group that owns multiple machine manufacturing. But I'm here to talk to you today about a really new model and a gorgeous looking machine from a company called Fama. And it's the home users or the prosumer model called the Fiamina. So thanks for joining us, Ange. Great to Pleasure talk with you. Thank you. Take us through this machine. Sure. gorgeous machine about some of the functionality how it came to be how it started and you know re-entering the prosumer market yeah uh, FOMA is a, a brand that's been around a long time yeah. it's a really n well known brand uh, yeah take us through this machine yeah absolutely um, and good intro um, so a very iconic brand FAMA and uh, Fiamina uh, is something that we're really proud to launch here at uh, MICE here in Australia. Um, it's already been launched in Europe, but essentially what it is, it plays to the prosumer market. So it's not going to be for everybody. Um, it's, uh, it's a very high-end machine in all respects. Uh, looking at the group head, uh, the internal uh, coffee boiler, it is all coming out of the Fiamma uh, commercial machine called a President. So we really have used uh, the best in engineering and technology with Fayamina and um, at sort of a, a go price, uh, an introductory go price of about 8000 Again, like I said, it's not for everyone, but whoever is fortunate enough to own one is going to really love it and use it for many, many years. Uh, some of the standout features, besides its beautiful designs, uh, metal, it's fully constructed in metal, as you can see, in stainless steel. Porter filters, uh, in which you get two for the machine, a commercial grade, uh, as I said, the coffee boiler, 0 0.6 litres, the service boiler, insulated, 2 litres, uh, the water tank, uh, we've made it really easy. You can plumb Fayamina fe into water mains, uh, but if you, you're more inclined to basically have a tank system, you can basically remove this quite easily, um, push it straight back in with 2 litre capacity, which is plenty. Another great feature with Fayamina is the drip tray. You can easily uh, increase the height of the drip tray as well as decrease just by sliding it in and out as well. Um, as far as the uh, water outlet is concerned, that's on the left hand side just by push button on off and on the right hand side of course we've got the cool touch steam wand with lever actuated uh, usability and two um, comes essentially in two spurts. Um, level one which is for more beginners who want to take their time frothing the milk and getting the best texture. And of course, we've got the full power steam all the way up the top. Uh, Fayamina obviously will come with two uh, options for espresso, the short and, well, let's call it the single shot. Uh, it can be short or long, of course, it depends on your own taste, but the single shot and the double shot espresso, the button in the middle, of course, is just semi-automatic, where you want to have something outside of the program parameters that you've set on start-stop, semi-automatic. Uh, and what's really great and unique about this particular machine, this prosumer machine, is the filter coffee function as well. We know filter coffee um, becoming very, very popular, um, growing exponentially, Fayamina can cater for those who love filtered coffee, going into the menu system, which we'll do in a quick second, will um, uh, allow you to set um, your ratio, um, your grammage out, your yield, if you like, your blooming, your times, and your pauses as well in between each um, uh, each of the extraction uh, times as well. So fully programmable. Of course, you can uh, increase, decrease the temperature of the coffee boiler um, at any given time. Um, there's also an app as well with Fayamina. It's called Be Fayamina and with this app you can obviously uh, individualize your own beverages. You know, you can have multiple users in the household and the great thing about it is once it's connected to your individual phone, um, it will basically recall exactly um, which uh, you know, type of beverage you're, you're having, i.e. the short espresso, you may have programmed it 30 mils out and you know somebody else in the household might like theirs a little bit longer. That's fine, you don't need to reprogram the button each and every time. Via your app, the machine will um, recognize that as well. But uh, yeah, as far as making coffee is concerned, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy. We have the touch and match grinder alongside Fayamina. And the touch and match grinder obviously has uh, 55 mil uh, flat burrs. Uh, as far as adjusting the coarseness um, or fineness of the grind, that's a simple to use dial. We have options, two, uh, two options, 
uh, two different volume options. Uh, with this particular one over here, you just insert the porta filter uh, straight into the grinder area and it's micro switch activated. It will obviously grind the coffee to your dose and measure. Then we'll just come along, quickly tamp it. And off we go. And now we can see the display as well. Yep. Shot time. The shot as well. And the temperature of the water, the stability. Yep. You obviously use good quality coffee. You're yep. going to get a, an exceptional coffee. We've, we haven't taken any shortcuts. Like I said, it's all mm. commercial grade, yeah. standard. So take us through some of the internals of the machine. So you can actually get in behind those settings and really adjust pretty much any part of that extraction. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so for example, um, to go into the menu system, we just hold our finger on the semi-automatic stop start button for a few seconds. And then by pressing the double espresso, it takes us straight into the menu system. Uh, this button over here becomes our scroll down the menu button. This one becomes our scroll up the menu. This is our enter and that's our escape. So for example, let's just uh, enter the coffee option. So what's happening here, the filter coffee function button illuminates straight away, which means we're in program mode for this particular button. Um, to enter the menu, we go into this part and we were talking about filtered coffee before. Really quickly, with this filtered coffee function, we can basically set the entire dispensing time, which at this stage we've set at three minutes. We set the dose or the yield um, of the beverage at 266 grams. We set the blooming um, uh, output uh, volume. At this, at this point here, we've gone at 30 grams. And we also set the time that we want blooming to um, happen within. Uh, and finally, how many, uh, we refer it to pouring, but how many uh, extractions we want uh, throughout the whole process. So just really quickly, just as an example, let's say we wanted a total dose of about 270. I'm not happy with 266. We'll just press enter. And then with our um, plus menu button up, we'll drive the volume. Sorry, here it is, the one on the right. We'll drive the volume up, let's say, to 270. So that's what we're going to achieve, 270 grams out. We're happy with that. We'll lock that in by pressing enter and off you go. So escaping out, we can then sort of scroll down and we can do a million other things as well. We can, oops, I've gone straight out into the menu system. We can increase, decrease the temperature of the coffee, uh, boiler. Um, we can set the water filter every time it sort of needs to be replaced. We tell the machine it's been replaced so it reminds us when it needs to be uh, replaced once again, etc., etc. So it, it's it's quite um, it's quite intuitive as well. It's not difficult to use um, and makes an exceptional espresso. All right. So tell us a bit about the price point, the positioning of this machine in the market. Where do you see it sitting, and, and what's the price point of it? So the um, the yellow, the white, and the black paneling uh, color options will come in at about seven thousand eight hundred, just under eight thousand. And then we've got the copper finish and the stainless steel finish. Uh, those particular models will come in at about $8,200, $8,300. So we're really looking at sort of launching these into Christmas very soon, as soon as the stock arrives. Right. Um, this is yeah. brand new. It hasn't even reached Australia yet. No, not, not yet. Okay. These are really the only models we have on Australian soil. And the let's call it the stock, the bulk stock is yeah. on its way. So we're excited. Yeah. Hopefully we have a yeah a good um, a good reaction to it, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you will, yeah. yeah. So. yeah. Thanks so much for talking with us today. Thanks for having us. I'm Ride, your coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.